Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be taking name requests, and uh, so glad you're here tonight. And let me just get this cleared off here and do a couple of maintenance things, and then we'll get started. All right, yep. Taking name requests. This says welcome, by the way. So let's get this cleared off, and we're going to start off with the name Ryder. It's spelled R-Y-D-E-R. -E so let's do that. R, a D, with a Y on top, ending R with an E. That's Ryder. All right, yep. Hey, yep, we're teaching Tanguar. That's a uh, Elvish writing. So uh, let's do Hayes. Hayes next. J-Y-E. <coughs> So we'll start off by writing our H like this, and then a Y with an A on top like this, and we'll do a, uh, there's a couple of ways we could do this. The uh, silent E would work, and then we could do a silme like this. You can also do an S hook like this, that'd probably be appropriate. That's Hayes. Uh, next, I see we're doing Nathan. And guys, I'm just taking these names as I see them. Um, I, usually, I get a lot of requests at, at time, you know, as things go along in the chat, and uh, we just have to take them as I see them. So just try to be patient with me, and we'll do the best we can tonight. So this is Nathan. This is the N with a T H A on top, and another N with an A on top. That's Nathan. All right, next I see Briar. So we're gonna do B-R-I-A-R. Briar. So we'll start off with our B like this, with an R, and then we'll do an I, with a finishing R like this, with an A on top. Yeah, there we go, Briar. B-R-I-A-R. All right, checking the chat for another name. Let's see. Let me, let me scroll up for a second and see if there's a question here. All right, uh, Sheldon, yeah, let's do Sheldon. Hey, the force be with you. That would be awesome. Nice, you're getting that, oh, and Elvis, yeah, I see that. That's a that's an excellent crossover between those two uh, fandoms, awesome. Uh, but we're gonna do Sheldon real quick. Let's do that, I saw that name. So there we go, this is the SH. And then we'll do our L with an E on top. Then we're going to draw our D with an N and an O on top. That's Sheldon. All right, just checking the chats. Let's see, I've opened up a lot more chat rooms, so I'm, look, I'm checking more of them. Uh, let's see, we'll start off with uh, Nova. We'll do Cody and Nova. Now this Cody is K-O-D-Y, so K is like this with a D, an O on top, and a short, air, car short carrier with a Y, uh, Cody, and then next we'll do Nova. So I'm going to be doing this for several hours, so guys just relax, sit back. Um, if I don't get your name, don't give up on me. Just uh, just hold off, and we'll see if we can get them in tonight. I also have a channel where I have 400 names in a playlist, so if you want to go check that out while you're waiting, or if you just want to go check out my page, I've got a lot of stuff there where you can learn. This is... Hey, we got a follower. Nice. Thank you. Uh, so we got N-O-V-A. There we go. Thank you for that. All right, next we have Danica. I see Veronica and Danica and Erica. All right, so let's see. Danica is a D with an N like this, an A, with the K sound with an I and an A like that. That's Danica. Yes, uh, next I'm going to... Uh, do Veronica and then we'll do Erica in Houston. 
So let's do Veronica. This is the V, the R, the E, N, the O on top, the K sound, I, A. All right. Next, we'll do the Erica name. And that's going to be R, with an E on top, the K with an I, and then an A. Now, next up, we're going to do uh, one from over here on this chat, Houston. Like the uh, like the location, Houston. Uh, so that's going to be H, like this. Then we'll do our OU digraph, like this, with an S, Silme. T, N, with an O on top. There you go, that's Houston. Thanks for that request. All right, oh, gotta turn my eraser on. All right, let's do another one. Thank you for that, uh, yep. Tangwar and Elvish is very beautiful, I agree. I uh, will do Damien next. So we have D. M, then A on top, I, and then E, and an N. Awesome. Yep, thank you for that request. Houston would make a really nice tattoo. Excellent. So that's Damien. Let me find another name here. Uh, Tanya. It's T A N I A. So let's do that. So we have T, N, with an A on top, an I, and then an A. Tanya. So guys, I hope you're ready for tonight. Uh, this is sort of a rings of party. Uh, or rings of party. Yes, it's a party. It's a rings of power party. The ROP party. So we're celebrating the finale tonight. It's coming up. And uh, this is just a celebration of all things Elvish and all things Tolkien. So we're just getting hyped about that. Uh, I should just call it a rings of party, but anyway, enough, enough of that. Let's do some names. Yeah, rings of party. Awesome. Uh, Madeline. We'll do Madeline next. So we start off with our M like this. Do a D and an A on top. Then we'll do our L with an E on top. N, I on top of this, and then an E. It's a silent E because Madeline has a silent E at the end. All right, so next I see Newell, Newell, N-E-W-E-L-L. -L. All right, so we're gonna do our N like this. Then we'll do our W with an E on top. We'll do our L and we'll put a bar in it to make it a double L and an E on top. So that's Newell. Uh, next, I see Robin. Go with that. I see, uh, it looks like Cirilla. Uh, C I R I L L A. I'll get that next. Let me do Robin and then I'll take care of that one for you because I've seen that several times. Thank you for asking. Uh, Robin, we're going to do an R and a B like this with an O, an N, and an I on top. That's Robin. Yeah, guys, get hyped up for this finale. So exciting. All right, so that's Robin. Now, I promised my friend here in the chat we're going to do Cirilla. Um, I'm guessing that it's a soft C, and if it is, then this it would be written like this. We have a Silme Nacorna like this. And then we're going to go into an R, which is a Roman, like this. Put our I on top, and then we'll do an L, and then we'll make that a double L with a bar like this. One more I on top, end it with a short carrier and an A to finish. There you go, my friend. Thank you for asking, and thanks for joining tonight. Uh, so I see Safina, S O F I N A. So let's do Safina. Safina. Do our Silme like this. An elf, an O on top, then an N with an I, short carrier, and an A to finish. 
That's Safina. So if you're in the chat, tell me what you think is going to happen tonight on the finale. Somebody tell me what you think is going to be the cliffhanger. What's going to be our moment, right? What's going to be our... We, like, what are we waiting to see? It's got to end on a, a good, either a good note or a suspenseful note or something's got to happen, right? I'm hoping they reveal a little bit about some of the characters as to who they are, but you never know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not making this up. <laughs> um, so in response to that, somebody said I'm making this up. I've been writing Elvish um, for 18 years. And I've been teaching it seven. And I've been doing pretty much movies came out in that time. I started learning uh, from the Return of the King Appendix E. And then I went online and started finding a Tangor community and adapting and learning and getting all the nuances to the different modes and variations of the Elvish script. So, yep, I am fully qualified as a longtime nerd. All right, Elizabeth is next. So let's go with L. This is an E on top. We'll go to a Z like this with an I. And we'll do a consonant B with an A on top and a TH and an E to end. That's Elizabeth. Elizabeth. All right, next we'll do hope. Hope is one of my favorite words because it has a special connotation and meaning in Lord of the Rings with Aragorn. Because in Elvish, the word for hope is Estelle. That's H O P and a silent E at the end. Hope. You're welcome. Thank you for joining tonight. Guys, if you have a request, um, pop it in the chat. I'm trying to get to all that I can tonight. We'll do Golden next. And for some reason, if I don't get your name, uh, go back to my profile page and see I have like a playlist with 400 names in it. They're all alphabetized. And scroll through and see if you can find yours. If you don't, drop me a comment. Or send me a message and we'll, we'll get you going. So this is Golden. G-O-L. With an O on top. This is the D. Then an N with an E on top. There we go. Thank you so much for the gifts too, by the way. Uh, so let's go with another name we have in the chat. Write your elf's name. Oh yeah, it's Summer. Awesome. So I don't play D&D. &D. Doesn't mean I would never. It's just I don't really know anybody in my local area that plays. That needs to change probably. But all right, so this is the S M. We'll put a bar beneath. Scratch that on top <laughs> uh, with a U, and then an R like this, and an E. That's summer. You're welcome. I uh, see Heather. Let's do Heather real quick. So we'll start off with our H and then we'll do an E with a TH like this with an A on top ending with an R and an E on top. So this is Heather. He Actually, let me amend something there for you. Take another screenshot if you took a screenshot. I need to add one more loop here because Heather has a th that has the dh sound it's not a breathy th it's a th like a th it, it vibrates your mouth when you do it so this would be heather there you go retake that screenshot all right um blake next yes i see you blake or at least the name request let's do blake b looks like this with an l then we'll do our sound an A on top and then we'll finish with a silent E that's Blake Isabel do Isabel next so we'll draw our the pen on we'll draw our S like this with an I then we'll do a B with an A on top end it with an L a lambe and an E on top Bishop I see a bishop. All right. So we start off with our B, like this. 
an SH with an I on top, and then we'll draw our consonant P like this with an O on top. That's Bishop. Uh, we'll do Lucas next. Lucas would be an L and a K like this. Tengua with a U on top. And then we're going to do a Silme like this with an A on top. That's Lucas. Peter. We'll do Peter next. Oh. Um, I will do Heavenly next after Peter. Um, those two have to go together for obvious reasons. And I thought you were saying that my writing was Heavenly. I'm sorry. It was a name request. <laughs> so apologies. Uh, that's a joke. All right. Peter. P. Like this. I, I'm, I am a dad. I have kids. So I'm allowed to make dad jokes. No apologies there. P-E-T-E-R. That's Peter. Okay. All right. So next we'll do Heavenly. No, I don't do stand-up comedy. My kids might think I do, but I don't. All right, so we have H, E, a V like this with an A on top. And we'll do our N with an E, L, short carrier, eh, and a Y there. That's heavenly. Emma, I see uh, Emma and Thelma. back over so Emma has an M it looks like an M sort of right uh, then we'll do you know let me check on something real quick just give me two seconds guys yeah okay yeah I was right all right we're gonna draw our bar here E short carrier and an A I just want to check something all right, so Emma, there you go. All right, I've already lost track of my thoughts, who I was doing but after Emma. So let me scroll back up. Maybe they'll, uh, it's too late. All right, uh, apologies. We'll hit, I'll watch the recording and be like, oh, that's who it was. Man, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> All right, checking the chats here. Uh, Robert, let's go with Robert. So we do our R like this and a B with an O on top, an R like this and then a T, that's Robert. So R-O-B-E-R-T. Well, thank you for giving me all the likes, guys. I appreciate that. and. Apologies for it hurting your thumbs. I know it's not fun. Sorry. Uh, Topher. Let's do Topher. We don't get to see the PH in action too much. Uh, so this is T. And then we're going to do a PH like this. It's basically like a P, but it has the longer extended stem. Uh, then we're going to put the O on top an R that ends and then the E so that's Topher Olivia and Thelma yeah that was the one thank you so much I think that was what it was yeah Thelma got it all right so we're gonna do Olivia and then Thelma before I forget again <laughs> so here's the O on top of an L then we'll do our V like this with an I on top, short carrier I, and then a short carrier with an A on top. That's Olivia. Now, let's do Thelma before I forget. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm pretty sure that was the name I was going to do a while ago. So Th Thelma, Thelma has a high breathy TH, right? So that means that we do this Tangua. There's two different kinds. There's this one that's a high breathy one, and then there's one that has two loops where it's more like a DH sound. But that's not what we want. So we're gonna start with this one, go into an L like this with an E, then we're going to do an M, 
and a short carrier with an A on top. That's Thelma. All right, next I see Kate and Daniel. So we'll do Kate, then we'll go into Daniel. So Kate would be, this is the K sound, and this is a T with an A on top and a silent E at the bottom, Kate. That would make a nice tattoo. It's nice, short and sweet, compact, I like that. All right, next we have Daniel. And Leo, Daniel and Leo. All right, so here's a D, here's an N with an A on top, an I, and then we're going to our final L here with an E on top, that's Daniel. Then we'll do Leo and Ben. Leo and Ben. Leoben. BSG fans, anybody? <laughs> Leoben. So, sorry. I, I was trying to stop doing the dad jokes. God. I don't know if that was a joke or just... It was just a pun. Yeah. Uh, so this is L-E-O. Leo. Okay. And if I slow down a little bit better, it probably can make it look better. More like this but that's fine that's Leo all right Ben is also going to be short we're just going to do our B like this with an N like that and an E on top all right Victor next and Sophia Victor and Sophia so here's the V Then we're going to do a K sound. If we put a bar on it like this, that makes the CK. So we'll put an I on top. Then we'll do our consonant T with an R and an O on top. Victor. Sophia was next. Get another chance to write a PH tonight. Getting a lot of good names with PH in it. Sophia. All right, here comes the PH like this. An O on top. An I. And then A. There we go. That's Sophia. Brittany is next. Two T's. Let's do Brittany. So that's the B. R. I'm going to draw our consonant T with a bar to make it two T's. I. N. With an A on top. And a short carrier and a Y end. Alright, Louise, is it, I'm guessing it's Louise, or Louis. I'm going to do it orthographically. Um, that's probably the best. I usually write orthographically, not phonemically or phonetically. So we'll do Louis. So we'll do an L. We'll do our W like this, with an O on top. And then a Silme with an I on top. That's Louis. All right, next I see Rachel. We'll do Rachel, and then I'm going to take probably a 10 second break to get some water, and then I'll be right back. We'll do Rachel first, let's see. Put the pen on, R. We'll do our tangwa that makes the CH sound with an A on top. Then we'll do our L and an E. That's Rachel. All right, so just give me one second. I'm going to give me something to drink. <clears throat> All right, so um, I see some more names coming in. Uh, one was Austin and Avalon. We'll do those. Austin and Avalon. All right, so to do Austin, we're going to do a W. It's actually an A on top of it. This is a digraph. And what that is is uh, it's two symbols that make one sound. And this makes the all sound in Tangwar. Tangwar. So that's why it can stand for AU or AW. There. So now we'll do our Silme like this with a consonant T, consonant N, and an I. That's Austin. Uh, next, we're going to. How did I learn this? Let's. Let me explain how I learned this. Uh, let me get a book real quick.
Okay. This is the Return of the King. And let me just show you real quick where I started. We'll do Avalon in a moment. But I just want to show you guys something. This um, this is the Tanguar chart in Return of the King right here. See that? This is in the back of every Return of the King book. If you have that book, then you have this. And there's also a description of what these are, of how they're used, not really for English mode, but uh, we have a lot of uh, attestations and writings from Tolkien himself, which have given us sort of the groundwork to lay for the classic or common mode. And uh, so if you have that book in your house right now, you have this Tangbar chart with you. Uh, after that, you're welcome to come to my channel. I have things you can learn from there. I have a YouTube channel that has a complete video series. I'm about to actually re-ramp that and revise that and put it out probably towards the end of this month. So make sure you're following me, subscribe for that. Anywho, uh, let's keep going. We got our name Avalon. And basically I took that chart. I started learning that about 18 years ago. And about seven years ago, I decided that I wouldn't keep it to myself. And I thought I would want to start teaching other people how to do it. So I did. I made a YouTube platform, made a, um, a full complete video series on how to do this. And then about two and a half years ago, I made a TikTok and it kind of went viral and blew up and kind of the rest is history and everybody wanted to start learning and then the Rings of Power came out. I didn't even know about that coming when I started this. I was doing this, uh, my teaching stuff about seven years ago. So anywho, that's Avalon, A-V-A-L-O-N. Next we'll do Bear. Let me see, there was a question. How do you see suggestions while drawing? Um, I am on top of my phone. Like here's my hand and my iPad here that I'm writing on. And my camera from my live camera is looking at my iPad. And on top of that, I see the chat on the live on my phone. And that's how I'm seeing the name requests. So that's how. So I was going to do bear next. And then we'll do April. All right, this is the B. We'll do an E like this, a finishing R, an A on top. Bear. So I have two together. I'll try to do them together, April and Ariana. So let's do that. So I have a P right here with an A on top. And then an R like this, an L, and an I. Now to do the Ariana, we're going to start off with an R like this, with an A on top. And then we'll do a Y, an N. I'm trying to make sure how many N's are. One N, with an A on top here, and a on top of a short carrier. That's how I would do it. In my mind, I'm thinking of other ways I would do that, but um, I think that's I'm gonna stick with that. So, All right, Amber is next. I keep getting a request to do one that's got a thorn in it. Legolas wife, I see you, uh, Thorkatla. I'll get it in a moment. Uh, let's see. Let me erase this. I got you. Uh, what was the one I said before that? Amber. All right, let me do Amber real quick, and then we'll do Thorkatla. 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 Okay. Uh, Amber is going to be B like this, with an M bar on top, an A. Then we'll finish with an R and an E on top. That's Amber. Now for Thorkatla, which has a thorn at the beginning, it it's still, the Tengua would be the TH like this. 
And then we'll do an R like this, receiving the O on top, going into the tangle that makes the K sound. And then we'll go to a T with an A on top, L, and a short carrier with an A on top to finish. Okay. Next I have Melissa and Kira. Melissa and Kira. Kira. Melissa. All right, this is going to be M, L, and then we're going to do a Selme like this, with the bar up under it for the two S's, I on top, short carrier with an A. That's Melissa. Oh, thank you, Elias. Thank you for that greeting. Elias said in the chat, Ellen Sila Lumen Omentielvo. And that is a greeting that means a star shines upon the hour of our meeting. And I agree, friend. Thank you. Thank you for being here. It's always awesome to have people in the chat that that know <laughs> that know some Elvish. It's very comforting. So I give off Bob Ross vibes. Well, I appreciate that. I do try to be somewhat of an artist, you know. Actually, I that I actually do draw. Um, maybe sometime I can do a video on some art that I've done. I haven't done any recently, but I think back in 2014 was the last time I really dove in and did some work. This is Brody, by the way. <laughs> Not before I talk too much, uh, BR doing a D with an O. An I and an E. That's Brody. Yep, I have done several digital art projects. Uh, some on PC and some on iPad. And I've done some like color pencil and um, regular pencil, charcoal type stuff. Alright, let's pick some names. Check the chats. All right, guys, everybody doing good? Okay, cool. Uh, I see Alyssa, I see Alyssa. <laughs> we're gonna do Alyssa, okay. So we're gonna start off with an L like this. An A on top. Then we'll draw our Silme. And because this has A, L, Y on top, two S's, so we put a bar beneath. And then we draw a short carrier with an A to finish. That's Alyssa. Thank you for the request, and thank you for being here tonight. Avery and Owen. Let's do that. Avery, A-V-E-R-Y, and Owen. O-W-E-N. So we'll start with the V like this. A. And then we're going to go into our R like this. With an E on top. And then a Y. That's Avery. And then to do Owen, we will do the W like this, with an O on top, an N with an E on top. That's Owen. Those were asked together, so that's why I put them on the screen together. All right. Um, let's pick something that we haven't done before. Yeah, I never did Kira. Or did I? Guys, I totally can't remember. I don't know if I did. Let me do it anyway. If I did, apologies. This is the K. R. I may have done it while I was talking. A. K I R A. There we go. Kira. Uh, let's do Whitney. 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 Oops. Get a chance to do a W H. We haven't done that tonight. Whitney will be like this. So the WH looks sort of like that, at least the way I wrote it. This is the WHT with an I on top, an N, and then we'll do a silent E with a Y on a short carrier. Okay. 
All right, I see a, a name. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's N-O-M-I-S. I can spell it like that. And it's either like Nomis or Namis. Nomis. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it's going to be spelled the same way in the, with the Tangvar. So let's just use what we have here. It's N. Then we'll do the M with an O. And then we'll do our Silme with an I on top. So that's how it would be spelled either way. It doesn't, it doesn't really change. So, um, I have a request to do, it's a G Y. Is that an O? Um, the chat text is really hard to see. It looks like Gyoja, Gyoja. Yeah, let me try that. Appreciate that Legolas's wife giving me some challenges tonight. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm not sure about that O, uh, but I will just use an O and we'll just go with that. So we'll start off with a G like this. And then the Tangwa that makes the J sound like this. All right, I'm having second thoughts about that. Let me do this. Because I should have done a Y like this guy. Then we'll do the J like this with an O over it. Short carrier A. Now that is probably as close as I can get because I'm not exactly sure about the pronunciation, but that's orthographic. That's how it's spelled, what you showed me. Next I'll do Aaron. So, Aaron would be an A, like this. And then we'll do an R with an A on top. And then we'll draw our N, like this, with an O. And that's Aaron. Aaron. Alright, so I have a request to do, uh, it looks like Kael. Kael and Michael. Again, uh, well, I usually do orthographic um, unless specifically requested to do. Um, let me just show you how this would be. Kyle, probably. This is the K. And then we would do the A on top with an L and an E. Now to do Michael, We'll do Michael next. That's going to be M. All right, so there's a couple of ways I can do this. So I, this one, I don't really do a lot with uh, my teaching, but I will be doing it soon. Uh, it's basically like, it would help if I drew it better. Hang on. This down and then a bar on top. That's going to be the CH that makes a K sound like in Michael. There's a couple of ways to do this and I'll show you the other way in a second. So next we'll do an A then an L with an E on top. All right, so that's one way you can do it. I probably should have done that. Let me do that again, like this. There, like that. Let me just go ahead and finish that out. That looks way better. All right, that's one way you can do it. And then the other way would be to just do a tangle that makes the K sound, which will work. If you wanted to do it this way. Like that. Like that. That's another way that I've done it before. Alright, let me scroll up and find some new names. Sorry, I've been spending too long on these. I see Zarina. 
So let's get that one. This is the Z. Then we'll go into an R like this with an A on top, an N, an I, short carrier, and an A. That's Zarina. And I see Z A N A. It's either Zana Zana, Zana Zana, one of those. Could have left that Z there, but it's okay. We'll rewrite it. is the Z with an N, an A on top, short carrier with another A. That's how you spell that. Alright, so next we have Darun yep, you've been asking that since the beginning of the chat. So let me get that. Looks like uh hold on. Darundi, Darundi, Darun Darundi. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Let me show you how to spell it. So you start off with your D like this. And then we'll do an A oh, excuse me, an R on top with an A like that. Then we're going to do a D. with an N bar on top like this, with a U vowel, and then end it with an I. That's how you spell your friend, uh, your name, friend. <coughs> so thanks for the request. I see Ali, A-L-L-I-E. So thank you for being patient. I've seen that name a lot. I'm trying to get you guys, and it's uh, just a lot of requests. So L. The bar that makes two. That's A L L. Short carrier I E. Yep, I see Kaylee. Um, it's C A I, right? Yeah. Let me pause my chat so I can see. C yeah, C A I. We'll do Kaylee, and it's spelled this way. C A I L E I G H. So let's do that. Uh, this is going to be the K sound. We'll do our A I like this. Then L. And then I will do, let's see, I'm going to do a silent E here. The G H is like this. Then I on top. Let me draw that first like this. I had it right the first time, sorry. Like this. That looks better. That's the GH at the end. So you've got the K sound, the A, the A sound, K, L, and the E, I here, and the GH. All right, I've got Catherine and Alex. We haven't done an X tonight, so let's do that. Catherine, C-A-T-H-R-Y-N. Catherine would be like this. Catherine. Y, that's Catherine. Then we'll do Alex. L like this, then A on top. Then we'll draw the K symbol and we'll add a S hook like this with an E on top and that makes the KS sound, which is what X makes. An E on top, that's it. That's how you do it in Tangor. All right, let's see. I've, I see Angelique. Let's do that one. I've seen that one requested quite a bit. I don't shy away from the long names. It's just uh, sometimes it takes a minute. Let's see. Angelique. We're going to start off with our tangle that makes the J 
symbol like that, or sound, excuse me. Uh, N bar on top with an A. So that's A N J. And then we'll do our L like this with an E. Then we'll do the K sound at the end. Now this has a Q U E, but because the Q U does not make the qua qua sound, we don't have to use the tengua that makes that sound. We can leave it as this Angelique with an I on top, and then just a silent E at the bottom. So see, it actually wasn't that hard because a lot of it stacked. So, thank you for the request. Let's do Darcy, D-A-R-C-I-E. It's another teachable moment. Guys, I am the Tangwar teacher, so you can't get mad at me for wanting to teach. You can get mad, but that's on you. Get mad if you want to. All right, here we go. D, like this. Then we're going to do an R, like this, with an A on top. And because this is a soft C, we're going to draw a Silme Nicorna that looks like this. And then we'll do an I with a s s silent E at the bottom, Darcy. All right, let me get the scroll through the chat and get it updated. All right, we'll do Finn next. Now Finn, it's spelled F-I-O-N-N. -N, and you're saying it's pronounced Finn. So let me teach you something here. Um, normally I would write orthographically, so I would write it F I in or beneath to make it two ends O on top that's orthographic now if you wanted to just make this phonetic you would just do the elf in with an I now that's fin I mean you could actually add another in with the bar to just make it fin like you spelled in the pronunciation so that's the difference between orthographic and phonetic. My recommendation in my teaching videos is that whichever style you choose, just be consistent. Don't be spelling half your words phonetically and then spelling the rest orthographically. I usually spell things orthographically with the only exception that if there is a tengua that matches the sound that is provided, then that's the only time I switch the lettering to make sure that it accommodates the tang while it exists. That's the only time I switch. Otherwise, I do everything orthographic, mostly because when I read it back, it just helps my brain. Um, that's the way I choose to write. That's my style. And you get to choose for you. So, long explanation, but I see Verna. Is it Verna? V E R N A, or is it this uh, text is so small? Yeah, it's V E R N A. Jean, Verna Jean. So let's do that V like this. Then we'll do an R with an E on top, N, and an A on the end here. That's the Verna part. We'll do a J sound like this, and we'll do our E with an N and an A on top. All right, Robbie next, R-O-B-B-Y, and then Nicole. So Robbie is going to be an R like this, with a B. We'll add a bar beneath to make it two Bs, an O on top, short carrier with a Y. That's Robbie. Now Nicole is going 
to be an N, like this, with the K tangua like that, with an I on top, going into a consonant L, with an O on top, and a silent E to finish. Alright, uh, I can do Camilla. I'm guessing it's pronounced that way. Camilla? It's K with an M, an A on top, L. The bar here makes it two L's with an I, and then a short carrier, and then A on top. So I think I have one here uh, for Lily. L I L I. Let's do that one real quick. That would be an L like this. Another L like this. That I on top. Short carrier and an I. That's it. The L's kind of uh, linked together, kind of strange, but that's it. All right, Tyra. Let's do T Y R A T. We have an R like this, the Y on top, and an A. Tyra. Donna is next. There's the D. We'll do an N with a bar on the bottom, O on top. Next, I saw Emery Rose. Let's do that one. That's together. Emery Rose. So Emery is going to be an M like that with an E. Then we're going to do our R like this, with an E on top, short carrier, and a Y. Now to do Rose, we're going to do R. And we'll do the, this is an example of how I would use the tangua that accommodates the sound, which is a Z, the Z, right, for rose. And then we'll do our silent E there. So actually that would have fit up beside it. This kind of short. So we could have done that up here. A Z, an O on top, and a silent E. Pretty compact, like it. All right, you're welcome guys. Thank you so much for the gifts and the likes. Thank you for tapping the screen. Appreciate this. Uh, tonight is the finale of the Ring of Power. We are trying to have sort of a party and, yeah, party. I said party and then all of a sudden the screen exploded. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, we're having sort of a party, getting hyped up for the show. And uh, t tell, tell in the chat, what you think is going to happen tonight. What is the cliffhanger? They're going to leave us on something special happening. What do you think is going to happen tonight? So I'd like to see that. I want to know your thoughts. So if you want to see the character names, you should come to my Wednesday night class. Wednesday nights, every week, I have a class on my Twitch stream. And I do, I'm teaching Quenya. And next week, we'll be starting going into Cinderin. So I actually teach how to write those types of things on those nights, and we talk about the languages and significance. So if you want to see some of those names, go check out some uh, stuff on YouTube. I'll push it up to YouTube. It's also still on my Twitch feed. So go back and rewatch re some of those. I think you'll like them. Because I like the other night we did Galadriel's name. Um, I did a lot of Elvish Quenya phrases. All right, I see Sebastian. Let's do that. Sebastian. So we'll start it off with a Silme like that. A B. An E on top. And we're going 
to do another silme with an A on top, the consonant T, an I, then an N. Is yours Sebastian with an A? Yes. Had to be for sure. I think they normally are, but I just wanted to be for sure. Okay. So that's Sebastian. Next we'll do Jeremy. J E R E M Y. Jeremy. I always have to make noises when I erase the screen. It's half the fun. Alright, Jeremy. We're going to do the J Tangwa like this. And we'll do an R. The vowel on top. And we'll draw our M. With another E on top. Short carrier and a Y. There's Jeremy. Alright, I have a request for Dakota Stewart. And we'll do Luna Gretchen. Dakota Stewart. That's the D, the K sound right there with an A on top, then a T, an O on top, like this, short carrier, and an A. That's Dakota. Now Stuart would be a Silme, like this, a T, a W with an E, an R like this with the A on top, ending with the T. All right, so guys, while well, I got your attention now, and hopefully I've proven my point uh, that I'm a, I'm a super nerd. Somebody, thank you for that follow. Um, I'm a super nerd doing this, but um, I do this as a commission. If you guys want a tattoo design made, I do that as a commission. If you want something translated, I also do that. Um, I have a website, tangwarteacher.com. Feel free to go check out that. I have pricing on there. I have a request page. Go hit me up if you got something you want done. I can make you a design and get you set up so that you can get a tattoo done or if you just want the images to use for like a sign or wallpaper whatever you want so just let me know I do that on the as a side business sort of all the money that I get it goes back into my channel um, it I go I have uh, discord um, I buy things for like I just bought a mic set up here so I can do podcasting, um, camera, lots of equipment and stuff. I try to use all that money to go back into this effort. So anything that you can donate to help my calls is much appreciated. Not required, but anything you guys can do to help out, I welcome it. So thank you. All right, so I see that you've asked this a bunch of times, Conserva Kitty, and I appreciate you being here. I'm going to try to do it. They're asking for Luva Cates. Luva Cates? Right? Okay. Now, I can do that orthographic or phonemic. You gave me the phonemic phonetics. So Luva Cates. Let's just try to do that phonetic. So to do Luva Cates. Luva Cates. Let's try to do that. All right. So here we go. We're going to start off with an L. Then we'll do a V. With a U on top. Now we can go into the K sound with an A on top. Consonant T. A silent E. And an S hook like that. Lubricates. That's how I would do it. It actually works really well with, um, with what you requested. Um, orthographic or phonetic that works really well so that should be fine so Sarah we're going to do Sarah next all right so we're going to do the Silme then an R an A on top and we'll do an H 
with an A. That's Sarah. So I have a question, uh, just a question. Let's see, let me read it first. Um, so you're asking about if there are gendered pronouns existing. Um, there are, I don't know about pronouns, but uh, definitely like the language is structured in such a way that there are genders. Like, you know, like other common modern Modern day languages have gendering, but uh, as far as the pronouns, I'm not exactly sure. Um, give me one second. I need to go let my dog out. He just got trapped in my room. I'll be right back. Thank you, guys. Yeah, if, you, if I didn't let him out, he would be making some noise, so. best to do that. Alright, so I've got another name request. And it's a read. Yeah, we can do read. So we'll start off with the R, like this. And then we'll do an E. And then a D, like this with an eye on top. Okay. So, Will Helmy? Will Helmy? Is that how you... Will? Is that right? We'll try it. So it's W-I-L-H-E-L-M-Y. Y is E sound. Oh, it is a vowel. I got you. I understand. Sorry, I was trying to think about it reverse. Uh, I, I totally, I would have done it as a vowel anyway, but thank you for clarifying. Uh, so W, L, with an I, then we'll do our H, like that. Let me get it a little bit closer. No, if I did too much closer, but that's okay. All right, so this is the W I L H E L, and next we're going to do the M Y. Now this is the English mode, everybody. So make that a little bit smaller. There, that's Will. Was this one L, right? Yes. Making sure it's one. Then H E L M Y. Okay. All right. Mariah. Yes, I see you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Devin. Appreciate that. Uh, Mariah. We're going to do M with an R like this, an O on top, an I. And we'll do an H with an A on top. Yep, I have um, another request for Kate. I think we did that earlier in the stream, but it's fine. Things are kind of slowed down now, so I think we can go back and revisit a few. We've got time. So K, we'll do a T, an A on top, and an E the bottom. That's Kate. Shane and Mitchell. Yep. Absolutely. Shane is an SH like this with an N, an A, and an E. Next is Mitchell. Do a T with an I, 
CH. Sorry about that. My chat got all crazy. M I T C H E L L. So let's do the L. The bar like this and an E. That's it. Mitchell. Can I do Thor? Yes, I can. So Thor is a TH like that. Th Thor. And then we just draw the ending R like that with an O on top. Like that. That's it. It's kind of short and sweet, right? Can I explain the difference between the R's? Absolutely. And this is actually a really good example. So the, there's two different R's. One of them is called Roman. Looks like this. And there's one called Ore. Looks like that. Now this is an example of Ore. Ore is used any time that it comes at the end of a word, like this or it's about to go into a consonant. So for instance, if I wrote the word Lord, as in Lord of the Rings, I would use this, or, or a, with an O on top, because I'm going into the consonant D. Now, let's talk about when you use Roman. So that's when you would use ORE. Roman is used any time that you have a vowel coming right after it. So like the word uh, there would be like this with the TH like this because it's th, it's a, t, a DH th, th, like that. So we have an E here. Actually, that's not a good example. Sorry about that. Because uh, <laughs> this actually, there would be a ending R, so it would be or. Okay, let's try that again. Take two. Um, what's a word? Okay, uh, what about radio, right? So you would use R, and because the very next letter in the word radio after R is a vowel, we would use the Roman, okay? So we'll draw our D like this with an A on top. That's why you use the Roman. And then we'll finish out with an I and an O. All right, so that's basically it. Um, it's, it's the link between the Roman and the vowel connecting to that there. If, uh, if it's about to go into a consonant only, you would use ORE, or if it's coming at the end, you would use ORE. One more quick example, just to demonstrate how it looks on the end. So if I would have done there, because I, I want to, for completeness sakes as a teacher, I don't want to leave you hanging there. No pun intended. Uh, there, TH, like this, and then you would do the E and a silent E. So that is how you would actually need to do it because it is at the end. Same thing if you was going to do the word R, A-R-E. You would also draw the ORE, then A, and the E, like that. So hopefully that helps. Got lost on a teaching moment there, but that's what I do. All right, uh, let's see. What are we gonna do next? Oh, it's no problem. Glad I, I, was, I was able to help. Also, I have some uh, teaching videos on these on my TikTok as well as my YouTube. So feel free to go check those out. And I have them in a playlist. I don't know if everybody can see my playlist, but I think you you may have to follow me. I don't know. If you, if you follow me for sure, you'll see them. And it's like 40 videos that teach you all of this. I do gauge, yes. So gauge is going to start off with a G, like this. 
and then because the last G makes the J sound and there's a tangwa that accommodates it, we'll do the one that makes the J sound. Then we'll put an A on top. And the E at the end is not vocalized, so we will use the silent E. Next we'll do Shelby. So we'll start off with our SH, go into an L with an E, and then a B, short carrier Y. Shelby. You're welcome, Gage. Thank you for being here. No, this is not Arabic. This is Lord of the Rings. Um, we are actually having a Rings of Power party. We are celebrating the finale tonight, the season finale, the Amazon Rings of Power. And we're doing Elvish names. And using the English mode, this is the Tanguar character set that Tolkien created for the Lord of the Rings universe. And it does look similar to a lot of other languages. And those languages would be Finnish, Welsh, and as you pointed out, there's a lot of similarities with a lot of the, uh, the text to Sanskrit, uh, Hindi, Arabic. I'm not exactly sure which all he pulled from, but there's a lot of things there. So, yep. All right, cool. Uh, we'll do Brian. Thank you for being here. We do Brian next. I get asked that often, um, and that's fine. I, it totally looks like it, but it's not. And I don't know how to write Arabic, so this is uh, mostly a hobby. This is something that's uh, a conlang. It's a fictional language. It's a fictional character set. So anyway, so let's do Brian. This is B R I A N. So we'll do an R. All right, Lynn, I got you. We'll do Penelope next. Uh, Brian, we got B-R-I, and an N with an A. That's Brian. What's going on, Lynn? Nice to have you here tonight, my friend. Long time fan of the channel and a good friend of mine. Been writing for a long time together. All right, so Penelope. That's P E N E L O P E. So we'll do a P like this, an N with an E on top, and then we'll do our L with an E. Then we'll do our second P with an O on top. Now, Penelope, the E is not silent. So we're going to draw a short carrier with an E on top. A phonetic, yeah, I see your comments. <laughs> I see it, the one asking. Yep, um, so this is one way you could do it. If you're doing it uh, phonetic, you could actually make that an I if you wanted to. That would actually be Penelope also because it makes the E. Um, another way you could do it is the Y, but um, I prefer orthographic because when I read that back I see Penelope that that's me sure I can do uh, now most of the time when I do um, any name I usually do orthographic mode even if, uh, I mean, unless you specifically really want me to change it to make it just phonetic, but um, I've got a request to do uh, Siraj Yasin. Okay, Siraj Yasin. Yasin, right. Uh, so let's do that. We'll start, I'm going to do it how you would spell it. And you can pronounce it how you want to, which is perfectly fine, but I want you to see how it's spelled the way it would be spelled in Tangwar. So S here. We we'll do an R like this with a bar on it for the two R's. Put an A on top. Now for the J sound, we have a tangwa for that. It looks like this. 
we'll put our second A on top. That's the Siraj. Now for Yasin, we're going to do the Y that looks like this. We'll do a Silme that looks like this with an A on top. Then we'll do an N with an I. Now that can still be pronounced Suraj Yasin. Okay? Both ways. Uh, I mean, if, even if I changed it to be more phonetic, I don't think it's necessary because everything here is accounted for what you told me. So I would, if I, if I read this, like if you had a tattoo, for instance, or something, and I read this, I would say, oh, it's Suraj Yasin. That's exactly what it says. So awesome. Thank you for the request. All right, uh, Erica and Antoinette, I see you. Uh, let's do those. Okay, sorry. Trying to pause my chat so it doesn't scroll too far. Because sometimes it does. All right, so start with Erica. We'll do an R like this, with an E on top. And remember, we're going into a vowel next. So we're going, even though we're drawing the K first, the I is actually next in the name. So E-R-I K, K, which is actually C, but it makes the K sound. Short carrier and ends with an A. Okay, so that's Erica. All right, Antoinette. I'm going to spell this orthographic um, because Let's just try. A N T O I N E T T E. It's actually going to be a lot smaller than you think. Um, even though it's a long name, you'll be surprised because a lot of this is going to uh, stack on top. So let's do this. So we got our T like this. We'll do an N bar like this with an A. So that's the ant part. So see, already we've saved a lot of room because it stacks like that. Now we're going to do the O-I-N. Now, in this case, hmm, I'm going to opt for doing it separate, like this. That's the O on a short carrier with an I on an N. Making sure I'm accounting for all these. All right, then we go to a, another T place a bar beneath like this to make it two. We place our E vowel on top. Antoinette has a silent E at the end, so we just place a dot there. And that is it. It's actually way shorter than it would be in English. So one more time. A-N-T-O-I-N. This is the N. E-T. The bar makes it two T's. And the silent E at the end. That's Antoinette. Pretty awesome, right? <laughs> Amazing how this works. Yeah, um, I, I've been doing this for about 18 years now, so now I can, I pretty much can read the Tangwar. Just like if I see it, it, it's like reading English to me, or just what I, I, I can see the or hear the sounds in my head. So yeah, it's it's pretty fluent now. So there are different variations of the language sets. There's Quenya, Sindarin, and the English or original common mode. So all of those have different nuances and different characters. So it's it's not easy to read all those. But as far as the English like this, yeah, I I can do it pretty much on the spot. Been doing it for so long. Just the way it works. All right, we're doing Shawnee next for someone special. Awesome. Well, let's do it. Uh, we've got a SH like this. Now for the AW part, we're going to do this. Uh, Tangwa is a W with an A on top and then an N. And then to, at the end here, we're just going to do two short. We're going to do two 
short carriers with the E like that. That's one way you can do it. Uh, that's one way Tolkien did it in his writings. Another way he's actually done it before is to place the two E's like that on one short carrier. So if you like that, that's acceptable also. Um, unfortunately, or whatever, I don't know. It's just the way it is. Um, Tolkien changed a lot of his variations, and even in the English stuff that we have attested stuff for, it's not all the same. Um, but we pretty much have a set way that we do it now, and we kind of stick that way as a community so that we sort of have some type of uniformed um, way to do it, right? So that people can learn. I mean, you know, if everything's all over the place, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But if we kind of come together and say, this is how it should be as a standard, then that helps. So that's Shoney. Uh, Stella. Let's do Stella. All right, we have an S here. A T. And we'll do an L with a bar to make it two L's. Then an E. Short carrier with an A. That's Stella. You're welcome. Thank you for joining, uh, Robert. And uh, also, tell the person it was special for that I'm so glad that we were able to do the name for them. So, thanks again for being here in the live. Very much appreciated. All right, let's do uh, T A L I O N, like Talion. Talion, Tal Talion. I will show you how to write that. So let's do the T, like this, followed by a consonant L with an A on top, then an I, then an N, then O on top. Yes, I have a request to do Eli. Let's do Eli and then Brandon. Brandon, we will certainly take care of Brandon. All right, Eli is first. So Eli will be just L with an E on top, followed by a short carrier, which is called a telco, by the way, an I on top. <coughs> That's Eli. I'm going to grab a sip of my water, and then we'll come back and do Brandon. All right, so Brandon is going to be B. R. I'm going to draw the D because on top of the D we can place an N bar with an A. Then end it with a consonant N and a vowel O. That's Brandon. Lydia. Yes, we'll do Lydia next. Got a little bit of water on my finger and that did not work very well. <laughs> Alright, Lydia. L, D, the Y on top, and we'll do a short carrier with an I, and end it with another short carrier for our A. That's Lydia. Harry, yes. All right, Margo and Harry, we'll do those next. Harry is first here. Harry is going to be an H like this, and we'll do our R. Roman, like that. A bar beneath makes it two R's with an A on top. Draw a short carrier with a Y. That's Harry. Now for Margot, I am aware that the T is almost non-existent, but I'm going to do orthographic so you can see it. This is the M. We're going to do our or a R, like this, that goes into a consonant. So we're going to do our G. And then we'll do our consonant T, which again, that's pretty much not there, but that's orthographic. That's how you would do Margo. This isn't Elvish, is it? Yes, it is, actually. What, you want to see Hobbit? Let's do Hobbit. Hobbit. Four Hobbits. All right, 
There's the H, B. We'll put a bar here to make it two Bs, an O on top, and then we'll draw our consonant T, with an I on top. To make it hobbits, all you'd have to do is add a little S hook right there. That comes at the end of words, um, the end like this with the with the hook or with the yeah. Yep, so that's Hobbit. Take a peek at how long. Okay, so this session that I've been doing has been going for an hour and a half. So, all right, let's see. Pronounce like Watko or Waitko. Wait, Waitko. All right, I'll tell you what. How about I do an orthographic version of it, and that will be correct, and then you can pronounce it just in case I'm doing it wrong. That would probably be wise. So let's do that. It's a W O Y T A O. So we'll do our W like this. The O Y would look like this. And then a T like this. Then the K Tangwa followed by a short carry with an O. That would work for what you were asking for. Uh, Yvonne is next. Going to be the Y like this. Come down to make the V like this. We have two ends. So we put a bar beneath it to make it two with an O on top and an E, a silent E at the end because it is not pronounced and that's actually not finished <laughs> or is it hmm yeah that's right <laughs> I was trying to think that uh, there was a Y in there somewhere that was a vowel and it's not so now uh, that's Yvonne notice the this is the y sound right now if if it was Yvonne which I'd don't think it's pronounced that way. If it was, you would just put the Y there like that. That would be more like Yvonne, right? Just throwing that out there because, I mean, you never know. There may be different ways that people would spell it. And there's going to be somebody that watches this and says, hey, but my name is Yvonne, not Yvonne, right? So might as well throw that in there for free while we're doing this. Joshua and Crystal, yes. Thank you. Somebody finally said it. Somebody finally said that I sound like John Krasinski. Yes, I've been told many a time that I sound like Jim from The Office. Thank you. I always take that as a compliment because I, even though I look nothing like John Krasinski, I like to think that I sort of sound like him or could act like him, you know. Or could probably tell Dwight to stop you know do something um, yes this is elvish we're doing uh, elvish writing uh, so Joshua and Crystal so Joshua is going to be like these J S H with the U on top then we'll do another U sorry it's not Joshua <laughs> is Joshua and oh there my bad I knew it didn't look right because I've done this name so many times I always see that shape and I always think about it so anyway I knew it didn't look right so that's J-O-S-H-U-A Joshua and the last name was Crystal C-R-Y-S-T-A-L so that's going to be the K sound like this with an R going into a silme with a Y on top. See if I can draw that Y a little bit better. T, and then an L. Let me move it over a little. And then A. There. <sighs> Alright, next is Billy. Oh, well, you know what? I had Caitlin too. I see Caitlin. 
Let's do that one too. We'll do Caitlin and Billy. B I L L I E. And Caitlin is C A I T L I N. So let's do that one. So Caitlin is going to be the K sound like this. We're going to draw the A sound. So this is K. We'll draw a T. So Kate. Now this is L I N. So we're going to draw an L. Like that. And we'll do an N with an I on top. That's Caitlin. Move that over just a little. There. Caitlin. Next is Billy. B I L L I E. So we've got B L an I on top, a short carrier I, and then a silent E because the I is to guys <laughs> next we have William oh you're welcome Caitlin thank you for being here tonight What's up guys thank you uh, William I'm going to do a W like this then an L put a bar beneath it to make it two L's <laughs> nice thank you all right so we have an I M and then an A on top. So that's William. For Dondor. Thank you guys. It's nice to see you. Hope you all are doing well tonight. I've got a lot of people joining. So uh, next though, I see we have a name for Dustin. Let's do Dustin next. So we've got a consonant D. Then we're going to do the silme like this, with a U on top. Then we'll do our consonant T. And then we'll do an N and an I on top. There we go. Hey, if anybody um, in the chat has a request, let's see, I see Leanne. Let's do Leanne. L-I-A-N-N-E. -N -N -E. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> All right, Leanne is L. Put my pen on L. I N A the two N's and then E. Awesome. Well thank you so much for being here tonight, Caitlin. Alright, yeah, we're gonna do uh for gone for for Dondor. Let's do that, okay? For Dondor. Because I appreciate you guys being here so much. Here's the elf like this. Then we're going to do ore with an O on top. That's the four part. And then we're going to do a D. Another D. Then an N with an O on top. Finish with an R, like an ore. And an, it's Don Door, yeah. An O on top. There you go. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> hey, man, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Awesome. Let me uh, take a just a moment to scroll through, make sure I didn't uh, didn't miss anything. <laughs> it's, oh yeah, yeah, we got we have a, a couple of names here. I see uh, Solveig and Kara. Let me do those. Don't want to miss out. Uh, Cause I appreciate you guys being here taking your time to come by. So let's do Solveig, uh, S like this, and then an L with an O, a V, and then we'll do an E, a G to end, with an I on top. There you go. That was for Civil Engine Gamer or s s something like that. So thank you though for the request. Uh, 
We got Through the Danger Untold. We'll do Kara. Or Kara. Probably Kara, yeah. It's the same in Tangwar, so let's do that. We got the K symbol like this, and then we'll do the R Roman because we're going into a vowel at the end. Short carrier with an A. There you go. Let me scroll through just to make for sure. Let's see, we did that. <laughs> yeah, guys, come by anytime. I have a soothing voice. I can talk like this all night. I should really do some book reading. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Uh, one more. We're going to do Dadar. Is that what I'm saying that right? I don't know, guys. Dadar? Let's do that. We'll do D. We'll do another D. Lots of Ds. Double D. <laughs> A. And then a uh, finishing R. Or a with another A on top. There you go. Hashtag that R. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me make that uh, closer. Ooh, 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 ooh. There you go. Take a screenshot of that. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we got. Let me see where. Oh, I got one in the chat here for Chester. Let's do Chester. All right, yeah, cool, thanks. Thank you guys. Let me clear this off. We'll do Chester next. So we've got a CH, and then we've got an S, this with an E on top, and then we got a T, or a, and an E. That's Chester. All right, we'll do Kyle next. All right, so we whoop, put the piano. We have a K sound like this with an L. And then we have a Y on top with a silent E. That's Kyle. Yep, we can do Loki and we can do Eric and Penny. Loki, Eric, Penny. These are a few of my favorite things. Loki. What's this? That's Loki. Loki, not Loki. Loki. I told them I was a, a dad, so I, I have a privilege to tell dad jokes while I do these. Uh, <laughs> all right, Eric. It's E with a K sound and I. That's Eric. And then Penny. Let's do Penny. So we have a P. Do an N like this with a bar beneath to make it two. An E on top and a short carrier with a Y. That's Penny. Nathaniel is next. Nathaniel and then Martha. So we're going to do our N like this. TH with an A on top. Then we'll do an N plus Nathan, A on top, an I, and an E on top of our L that's finishing here. That's Nathaniel. Next is Martha. Thank you guys for the follows, by the way. Appreciate that. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Martha, let's go, Martha. Do our M like this, and then we'll do ORE because it's about to go into a consonant. So this has an A on top of the R. Then we'll do the TH, Martha, with an A at the end. That's Martha. Somebody's asking to do Gimli. Uh, wow, that would probably, you know, I don't know what Gimli's secret name is. Do one of Don's people know this? I don't know. I'm asking. I, I'm, I'm not trying to say that I know. Because uh, I doubt his name would be an Elvish. An Elvish. Let's just pretend for a moment that Gimli's best friend, Legolas, is writing his name on a piece of, pa piece of paper, a piece of parchment for him. Say, here you go. 
here's your name tag for your box that you're about to stand on. So Gimli would be G, like this, M, an I on top, and an L, short carrier, Gimli. There you go, Gimli. <laughs> yes, if there is a bar, I mean, well, we call it a bar. If there is a, uh, a line up under, it's indicating usually that it's a, a double. So. Oh, wow. Ah, yeah, I saw those videos that she did. Uh, that Kavatica did. Yep. Yeah. I think I missed that part, though, but interesting. I'll have to go back and find that. All right, so let's check. I need to check up on my s Holland. Let's do Holland. That sounds cool. Yeah, we'll do Ashton. Holland and Ashton. So this is Holland. We'll do an H, an L, the bar. There's the bar that makes it the two L's. And see, you notice it didn't go up under, but it goes here. The O on top. Then we'll do a D like this, an N bar on top. Notice how it curves a little bit. And then we'll put the A. Now that's Holland, okay? And then next we're going to do Ashton. So Ashton is going to be the Tangua that looks like this, the SH, with an A on top. We'll do a consonant T, which I did that forever long. It's okay. Trim off a little bit. There you go. That's Ashton. Sawyer. Yeah, let's do Sawyer. I like that name. Sawyer. Here's the S. This is a W right here with an A on top. Saw. Now we're going to do this symbol that makes the ya sound. And we'll draw ore at the end with an E on top. So that is Sawyer. I'll take a moment, get some water. Yes, um, this is actually what we've been doing. We've been having a rings, uh, ring of power party. We've been writing names and Elvish to get hyped and get excited about the finale that's happening tonight. That's what's up. That's what we're doing. Hey, somebody asked for my name. My name is Jamie. Justin and Jamie. How cool. All right, let's do Justin, then we'll do Jamie. Spelled a little bit different than mine, but it's still the same name. All right, Justin. We'll do the J like this, an S. Put the U on top, a T, an N, and then an I. That's Justin. Yep, we'll do, I can do Nico, and then we'll do Nicholas. Okay, and then we'll do Rachel. Let me do Jamie real quick. Um, so Jamie is going to be the J. In this case, it's the AI, or the A sound. We'll do it that way with an M. And then a short carrier with an E. So that's Jamie, spelled the way you requested. All right, so let me go up here and do, we're gonna do Nico, Nicolas, and then Rachel. So Nico would look like this. An N, the K sound, with an I on top. Short carrier with an O. Now that's Nico. Now if we want to make it Nicolas, 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 we would just add an L, an S like this, an A on top. That's the difference between Nico and Nicolas. Now we'll do Rachel. We're going to do an R like this, the tangwa that makes the CH with an A on top, and then we'll do 
Lombe, which is an L, and an E on top. That's Rachel. Right, let's see, we've got some more coming in here. Oh, you're welcome. Let me check. I've got two chats running here. That is a lot of fun. Does Quenya Black speech have written language? Quenya for sure does. Um, Quenya probably has um, the most. Well, their Cinderine has the most, but Quenya has a lot of written um, because that's where all the songs, the poetry, lyrics, and things like that come from. And there's a lot of stuff there. Um, so there's a. You could basically learn that. Um, black speech, though, is going to be very, very limited. It's like less than a small page of words. And half, probably half of those come from the, the ring inscription. So uh, I think some more has been derived and made later on, but that was mostly by fans. Um, not So, yeah, if you're wanting to learn, uh, go the Quenya route um, if you want that, or either the Cinderine. Cinderine is what most people speak now, like Neo Cinderine. That's what you're going to hear most people speaking or... Um, if you're in a chat room or something and where people are talking in Elvish, that's what they're going to be writing in most most of the time. There are some channels that do Quenya only. So, uh, no, I have not done Jenny yet. So. I just got raided. I'm telling them now. I have all these viewers. Very awesome. All right. So let's do Jenny real quick. I don't know. Is that is that like a good thing that you get rated? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know enough about Twitch yet. That's not going to be like a bad thing in the long run, is it? I don't know. Right, that's J E N N Y. Uh, we'll do Kenny next. Yeah, we'll make sure you get some rest. <laughs> don't sit here too long. Uh, there will be more times like this. So I will do Kenny next. So that's uh, K N. The bar makes a two E and then a short carry and a Y. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you guys. Yeah. In this case, it's a good thing. I understand. Yeah. If you, I guess it could be bad if, if people were not as nice. But yeah, you guys are awesome. So it's definitely a good thing. So thank you for being here and raid anytime you want. Um, so we'll do Paige next, and then Eric with a K, E R I C K. So Paige, we're going to do like a P, like this. Then our A I makes the A. We'll do the J sound with a silent E. So that's Paige. And then we'll do Eric, E-R-I-C-K. So we'll do our R like this with an E on top. Then we'll do the K symbol like this. If we add a bar like this, it makes C-K. And then we'll put an I on top. That makes it Eric. Like that, E-R-I-C-K. You're welcome. Scroll here, let's see. All right. Make sure, let's say I had uh, one requested up here. I don't know if they're still here or not. Hopefully you're here. Um, so Juan would be, if you're doing it orthographically, like J-U-A-N, then it would just be like this. This is the J, um, then a U, and an N with an A on top. That would be orthographic. Uh, phonetically, to do the Juan or Juan, um, you could do it, it depends, like sort of a, a W. I think I did this the other night. Uh, w, U, N, and an A. That would be more phonetic, but this is orthographic, so it's actually one a letter for letter, J, U, A, N. Hope. Hope is a word. In uh, English orthographic, it would just be this is the H. 
with a P like this, and an O, and a silent E like that. We'll do, um, now if we did that in, <coughs> excuse me, in Quenya, which is Aragorn's name, Estelle, it would be like this. I want to make sure uh, I'm doing that. Yep. So the E on top like that, still may. And then a T, with an E on top, L. So it's a lot different, but that's Quenya. So it's it's going to be reversed, but that's Estelle, which means hope. Come over here and check. Oh, thanks for, yeah. I have that piped into my, my feed, so thanks. All right, we'll do Julian. By the way, guys, if, if you missed the first part of this broadcast and you're sitting there thinking, man, I wish I'd have got here like a little bit earlier. But, you know, I had to go to this other um, Twitch live stream and that that's understandable. But let's say you really wanted to see the first half of this. It's going to be on my feed later. I'll also push this up to my YouTube channel. So if you want to go check it later. I also have several of these out there and I sit here and just do name after name. And it's a lot of fun. So anyway, uh. The language is English. Uh, we're using the Tangor characters from Lord of the Rings that Tolkien made to write English names. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, having a name party, exactly. And I said I was gonna do a name. Julian, thanks, brain. All right, so Julian would be a J like that, J. Do an L with a U on top. Then a short carrier with an I, then an N with an A on top. There you go. That's Julian. Uh, we'll do Xander next. So Xander is going to be a Z that looks like this. Do our consonant D with an N bar on top, an A. Then we'll do ORE at the end for R with an E on top. That's Xander. You want to know how to do an X? Is that what you're asking? All right. Let's do Erica. E R. That's E R I K A. Kimberly. Yeah, we'll do Melissa next with one L. I, I did one earlier in the feed with two L's. This one is uh, with one L. You're welcome. Uh, so Kimberly was next. Thank you for the gifts, by the way. Appreciate that. This is the K. We'll do the B with an M bar on top, an I, then we'll do an ORE, then ER, because we're going into the consonant L, and then we'll end Kimberly. Make sure that you don't have, so it's just L-Y, right? right? So that's Kimberly. All right, uh, next. Melissa with one L. Doesn't it always have one, two, uh, one? I think I did it earlier with two. All right. So this is M E L I S. The bar makes two S's and then the short carrier and an A. And we'll do Nicole next. So is it Nicole with a CH or just Nicole? Was that a typo? Because there's a different Tengua that actually can do the CH as a K sound. Got it. All right. So it's just N-I-C-O-L-E. 
So let's do that. So it's in. Then we'll do the tangle that makes the cuh sound with an I, L, an O on top, and a silent E at the bottom. That's it. Yep, mica. Spelled M A I K E. We'll do that next. So mica, but I'm going to do it orthographic so you can see it, how it would look. So we got M A. In this case, because it actually makes my. It's not like Maika. You just said it was Maika, right? So it's M A I, and then we'll do the K sound, and then Maika. Mm. I would probably just do. It was M A I K E, yeah. All right, so this is orthographic. Now, Maika can be done more phonetically, like this M I K. And then you could do several options. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Like you could do an H with a U. That would be Micah. Or you could make that an A, Micah. So any of those. Um, this is orthographic and this is phonetic. Don't always do that, but since you specified and also it was a unique spelling, I wanted to give you both. Um, because it's a pretty common name, just spelled differently. Sure, no problem. Thank you for the request. Uh, Tate, we'll do Tate and Rhett. Oops. Tate. T A T, silent E. Yep, we'll do U Z E R. I don't don't need to pretend like I know how it's pronounced. And uh, but I'll show you how it's spelled. Let's do that real quick. So you have the Z with the U on top, and you write ORE and an E. That's it. It's just U Z E R. Christine. Yep. Awesome. Thank you guys for making all these requests and giving gifts and follows. It's been a great night. Uh. All right, so the Christine is going to be this symbol here. This makes the, oh, I'm off the screen. Hang on one second, let me fix this. Yep, we'll get Gabriel next. Uh, Christine, that makes, this symbol makes the K sound. That's like a hard, the ch with a k and we'll do an r like this and an s and an i on top and then a t we'll do our n with an i and an e vowel because the e on the end is not vocalized right so that's christine christine all right next we'll do gabriel This is the G, the B, A on top, an R, an I, then an L with an E on top. It's a very pretty name. I, I like it when you can see sort of a, a flow. All right, so let's see, Ashley. Let's do Ashley. All right. We'll do our SH with an A. L. Now, when I do an EY at the end, there's a couple of ways to do it, but I prefer this way because the E, I feel like, is more silent because it's going into the vowel of the Y, right? So that's why I do that. Uh, like this, A S H L E Y. Where did I learn Sindarin? I'm actually still learning Sindarin. Uh, this is uh, Tengwar characters. So I think I saw Adam. Let's see, 
I just did Gabriel, so if you just asked for that in this chat, I just did it. Unless you're just joining. <laughs> but uh, again, uh, there's probably a lot that you guys missed. Um, go make sure you watch this on my YouTube, or I think it'll also be on my Twitch. Whatever, yeah. Just go find it later. Let's go do Adam real quick. Trying to do all that I can, but sometimes things get missed. Apologies. All right, so this is A D A M, Adam. All right. Thank you so much for the follow. Harley, we'll do Harley next in August. I don't think I've ever written August. Let's do those. Harley in August. Yep, we're doing Harley. H R with an A on top. L and we're going to do that just like we did on Ashley. The silent E short telco carrier and a Y. Harley. Now we'll do August. This is the digraph that makes the all symbol or sound. And we'll do the G like this. And then we'll do a silme with a U, like this, end it with a consonant T. That's August. All right, guys, we've been over this for uh, two hours. So I'm probably about to call it. And um, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to go too much longer tonight but I just want to appreciate everybody that came out and I hope that you guys uh, will go check out all the links I have in my page go check out this if you missed some of it go watch it on Twitch or YouTube hey guys I'll see you soon bye